Hello. Now, if I were to have a bias, it would likely be for Tenshin Nasakawa considering all the love I've gotten covering him, but let's put this into perspective. One of my good friends, who was ranked one of the best pro boxers in Canada and now is a boxing coach, Matt Bultiel, he believes this was real. My mixed martial arts coach, Nick Ganey from UFC North Shore, who's trained with Anderson Silva, Faraz Zahabi, George St. Pierre, here, tossing Dan the Hangman, he believes this was real. My friend, Mikey Sitfalik from Thailand, a boxing champ, knew this was the expected outcome. Now, I have a lot of people in my life who are actual fighters alongside my own martial arts experience from childhood believing this was real. I don't know everything, nor do I like carrying myself like that because it stifles growth. But to continue, Manny Pacquiao said, here is an early New Year's resolution to continue to only fight experienced opponents who are my size or bigger. His response to the tension versus Mayweather bout. John Kavanaugh, Andre Ward, Ariel Helwani, who's known to be critical, they speak as if this was real. I could keep going, but why then? Why do so many fans believe this was fixed? It had nothing to do with the punches exchanged, but instead, the way tension was falling, that is what this was about. Particularly this instance here. Why did it take tension so long to get up? Floyd hit his foot and it seemed like a trip, but he was lying there, taking his time like he was concussed, like he was recovering from something. What had happened? How could this happen from just a trip? What if it wasn't just a trip? It's hard to see because of the camera angle, but look, Floyd's huge one back right hook actually clipped tension as he was falling. Now here, what if I showed you a kickboxer land on a falling opponent? Now you can see tension falling a lot in kickboxing. And with that said, do you think it's so hard to believe that one of the greatest boxers in history would not be able to land as tension was falling? Look at the top of tension Asakawa's head. It's turned to the side. Why would it do that? Maybe because he got clipped on the chin. Do you think that explains why he had trouble getting up from a trip? Maybe it wasn't just a trip. He got landed on flush against the chin by surprise. Not just with a normal punch, but with a loaded, winging punch Floyd was not known to throw throughout his career. He doesn't do this against high-level boxers. His shot's tight, but he was rocking more of a Mexican style, trying to concuss tension. Basically, the same style he used for Connor later on in their bout. But this time, it was in the first round. Overall, tension was landing, beautiful punches, but Floyd, with his superior neck and body conditioning, did not care. He was walking tension down, overwhelming him. By the end of it, a lot of news media were over-exaggerating what happened to Tension Nasukawa. His lights did not go out. He was conscious. He was just overwhelmed. And his corner saw this, thus they realized that this was a huge mistake. A complete mismatch. There's no point in risking serious injury to their superstar by continuing this exhibition. Why would they likely hurt his career in this manner? Now to further put this into perspective, Conor McGregor landed over 100 shots on Mayweather and only one of them looked like it hurt him. Connor is way bigger, hits way harder, and he still got TKO'd. What do you think would happen to a much smaller karate and Muay Thai based fighter? At least Conor McGregor had actual boxing as his fighting base. People made the argument that Tension takes shins to the head. Have you seen Tension Asakawa fight? He doesn't get hit with kicks to the head at all, really. He doesn't get hit a lot throughout most of his bouts. That's why he's been able to rack up so many fights in the first place. He's a master at not getting hit and returning against aggression with a counter. He even did that beautifully against Mayweather a few times. But you can't compare anyone tension is faced to one of the greatest boxers of all time. If this was a kickboxing bout or an MMA bout, this would be a different story. But overall, this was not fair. That brings me to my second reason as to why people thought this was fixed. They do not understand levels exist in all games. Tension is a karate and Muay Thai based fighter. He fights at a very high level in kickboxing. I'm a huge fan of his and I still am. This does not change anything. If anything, I've gained more respect for his desire to take on such a big challenge for I'm sure he'll only learn from this, but you could learn all the technique you want. Learning a move means nothing if that move does not become a physical manifestation of your body. You become your techniques with tension. He's learned so much, spent more time managing the diverse problems of kickboxing, but Mayweather, his focus has been solely boxing. If you pair that with his huge physical advantage on top of his status as undefeated best ever, 
it's no wonder this was almost a comical walkdown. This would have likely been a different story in MMA or kickboxing, but that was not the case. Last point, people don't understand the difference weight makes. Now, the weight differences in MMA are more negligible than they are in boxing. Why? Think of it this way. Sprinting is perhaps one of the most physical ability demanding disciplines in existence. For sprinting, you see a real reliance on fast twitch. Thus, sprinters who excel have a particular anatomy alongside more fast twitch. No amount of training or skill can compensate for that. Contrary example. I do not believe Bruce Lee would favor well versus top competition in today's level of mixed martial arts. But with his emphasis on quick eye pokes and ball strikes, conditioning specifically for just that, you know, the reverse could be said. Why? Because he's rigorously trained a knowledge advantage over that competition in the real world. That said, the more limited a discipline is, the more genetic or physical aptitude is favored. Boxing is more limited than mixed martial arts. Boxing is more limited than kickboxing. Thus, where in MMA you can compensate for size with a knowledge and skill advantage, your weight has a much larger impact on the outcome of a boxing bout. That's why weight classes are so important. It's why there's 17 weight classes in boxing. There is a correlation between your weight and physical performance. Thus, in this game of inches, if you give even a few in boxing, it would have a much bigger impact than if you gave it to someone in kickboxing or MMA. People don't want to see weight bullying. They want to see skill and technical prowess. It's no fun when someone has a huge advantage genetically and they're just overwhelming the other guy. It's bullying. Weight divisions allow for a more fair emphasis because at the end of the day, weight makes a real difference in the outcome of a bout. More so in boxing than in MMA and kickboxing. Even though in those worlds, weight makes a huge difference as well. Otherwise, why would people weight cut in the first place? Now, let's add all these points together. Tension is Muay Thai and Karate based, versus one of the greatest boxers ever. And with that said, there are levels to this game. Floyd was a knockout artist early in his career, and he TKO'd Conor McGregor. Tension Nasukawa was not TKO'd. His corner threw in the towel. The fall was not dramatic. He was caught on the chin, which is why it was so hard for him to get up. Mayweather was way bigger. The physics of the punch had their head shake. This happened not just to Tension, but also Mayweather. Overall, this was just a complete mismatch. Do you think Ryzen would pay Mayweather 9 million to risk serious injury to their undefeated superstar? They believe he had a genuine chance in boxing. And you know, that's fine. It's a learning experience at very least. If he can overcome this, he will grow dramatically from this as all of Mayweather's opponents have. But nonetheless, this was a very natural outcome because there are levels to this game. Still, nothing but respect to both fighters. As to whether or not you believed it was fixed, from here, I'll let you be the judge. Now I took down my original because of the tremendous backlash I received posting it up. Nonetheless, if you want to continue watching, here's part two, my original breakdown. Hope you enjoy. Hello! Tenshin Nasakao was an undefeated kickboxer and mixed martial artist many acknowledge as a prodigy. But here, Floyd Mayweather doesn't even appear to care. Let alone the size difference that decades upon decades of boxing experience he already knows this will not be a fair fight. He's even casually smiling. He knows Tenshin Nasakawa made a mistake. This must be refreshing for Floyd considering the size of his opponents throughout his career. But with his grasp of the sweet sides, even past his prime, his legendary punching power deteriorated after handbrake after handbrake. None of it mattered in the world of boxing, his speed, IQ and technique. Nothing here, tension through, would likely affect Money Mayweather much. Floyd throws the first jab and tension pulls it, but nonetheless, it measured the distance for Floyd's back end. That alone shook his head. He does not have near the neck conditioning Floyd Mayweather would. Floyd is super nonchalant. He has that air about him. Tension cornered, he throws it again. This time though, Tension saw it coming then slips to the outside as he slides, repositioning himself to counter with his karate footwork. The straight counter was perfect. This catches Floyd, but again, he does not even care. This is nothing compared to the furnace he's been through in the boxing world. Floyd casually swings his lead hook. Tension though, he slips out of the way. You must actually admit, his reactions and movement are incredible, even if this is Floyd not being serious. 
The moment Floyd raises his hands, tension can't even dent the guard. Stepping outside, as Floyd's lead hook clips tension top ahead, notice that his foot actually touches tension. Pair that with how smooth he took the outside foot, this is actually why tension fell. You can see the expression on his face. He's surprised as he tumbles towards the canvas. Here, tension slips the lead hook again. This time to the outside, then Matador's floor. He's just messing around, which is likely why this happened. He isn't taking any damage at all, really. Floyd's conditioning, paired with the integrity of his form, make it look as though Tension is playing a healer class. Which is crazy, considering how many people he's concussed so far. Tension Nasakawa's counters are beautiful. Even here, he measured with his lead, slips the lead hook, then follows with a cross, but he just can't stun Floyd's pressure. Like Deontay Wilder, he has a significant height advantage over Tension, This Floyd easily hits around guard. Tension recovering, look at how high Floyd's chin is. He's just giving it to him. He eats the counter on the chin, but Tension stepping into the lead hook, paired with the following to the side of head. Again, he heals Floyd as he tumbles towards the canvas. I believe it was very wise for Tenshin Nasakawa's corner to throw in the towel. It's best to keep their superstar intact. Now, I don't know if there was anything Tenshin could have taken away from this. It was too one-sided. Even if they played shot for shot to the face, Floyd's size and decades of conditioning alone would likely be enough. Because here, he only had to use a fraction of his boxing. This was brilliant marketing though. Floyd said he wanted to break into the Japanese market and Tenshin Asakawa is a hot topic in Asia, garnering millions upon millions of views all across social media. It's no wonder we call him Money Mayweather, he truly has a mind for this. If all attention is currency, Floyd Mayweather is a master at staying in the conversation. I don't know if there is anything that can be learned from such a one-sided bout, but nonetheless, thank you both for the privilege to watch.